Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The history of Indian subcontinent is filled with traitors, and one of these most infamous traitors was Mir Jafar Ali Khan, commonly known as Mir Jafar. Mir Jafar lived during the time of the Nawabs of Bengal. In those days, Nawab, the Nawab of Bengal was Siraj Uttala. He had become the Nawab after the death of his grandfather, Nawab Ali Khan, in 1756. He was a young and inexperienced ruler who did not know much about the internal politics of his country. As a result, the throne was always surrounded with people who were conspiring against the Nawab in order to take the throne for themselves. And one of these people was Mir Jafar. In those days, there was British East India Company who wanted the Nawab to make concessions to them. But the Nawab refused, so they decided to do something to get rid of him. In those days, there was a banker called Jagat Seth who often made money by making the Nawab obey some of his demands. Also, the British realized that the best way was to use a proxy Nawab instead of annexing Bengal. Mir Jafar offered the perfect opportunity. Together with the English, he decided that they would overthrow the Nawab by betraying him at Plassey. Now, they also needed to make sure that the communication lines between the English and the Bengali of conspirators are kept or always maintained. So, they brought a man called Umichand. Now, some sources say his real name was Amir Chand, but because his name is mentioned as Omi Chand, we will just say Omi Chand. Omi Chand would give Lord Clive all the news about what was going on, and he was the one who told the British that soon the army of Bengal is coming at Plassey. Siraj Tola had to fight the East India Company because of the incident at Calicut, also known as Calcutta or Calcutta. At Plassey, the British army consisted mostly of local Indian soldiers known as the Sepoys. Siraj Tola had a much larger army, but then the unexpected happened. Mir Jafar withdrew with most of his forces away from the main Bengali troops. Nawab realized that this was a conspiracy, but now it was too late. Siraj Tola had lost and Mir Jafar had won. Soon, Mir Jafar was declared the Nawab and Siraj was executed. So Mir Jafar was now officially called Mir Jafar Ali Khan Bahadur. He was hoping that he would become the Nawab of the largest state in the region. But in reality, no. The British started pillaging the state of Bengal. The people were forced to give heavy taxes and soon he Jafar found himself in the middle of nowhere, but a destroyed state, a state destroyed by conspiracies and colonizers. By then, it was too late for him to do anything, and he died soon after, within a few years after taking the throne. Although his descendants continued ruling, it didn't really mean much because the real rulers were the British, and that continued till 1947 when the partition of India took place and Mir Jafar's descendants stayed most of them in India while some went to Pakistan. I would like to thank all of you for watching with special thanks to SP Studio for the cartoons that I made and History Matters YouTube channel for this idea and the links are in the description so you can check that out as well.